Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to day 19 of the 31 Days of Horror. DBougie86 86 here again. Yes, today I am going to be reviewing a film from the early 90s. Yes, I'm going into the 90s again. And this is a film that's been in my collection for a while. This is actually a first time watch for me. So I was very excited to check this film out because I've been hearing a lot of interesting things about this one. I won't lie. And of course, this is a release by Cult Epics, and it goes by the title of Shram. Yes. If you don't know about this film, this film is actually directed by Jurg Bergerite, who you probably all know from his films Necromantic, Necromantic 2, Der Toad's Thing. This is actually, uh, he also directed a segment of the newly released German Angst, which I haven't seen yet already. And this was one that's been interesting me for a while, and I finally got a chance to check it out. Uh, the main plot of this one, where uh, we actually follow the final moments of this notorious serial killer named Luther Scram, who goes by his uh, calling card is called the Lipstick Killer. And while we see Luther actually dying on the floor, he actually has flashbacks, and we get to see how he got to this moment and the final days of and then the mind of this serial killer. And that is pretty much the main plot and scheme of this one without going too crazy and far in it. Because there is a lot of things that uh, do happen in the short runtime of this film. Now, my thoughts on this film. Well, for starters, since I just mentioned it, uh, this film only runs like hour and five minutes long, yes. So, this one's a very fast-paced film, but it does have kind of like a slow build-up to it at the same time. Like, it's not really that long, but it kind of feels long in some certain scenes. But that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, in my opinion. Because we do learn a lot of, like, interesting and fucked-up shit about this guy. Like, the way he thinks and inside of his mind, that's what uh, Jurg Bergerite's attention was for this film, is... He wanted to see like a serial killer film that goes inside the mind of a serial killer. And this film really does. It's fucked up. I have to say there's a lot of fucked up imagery and some violence and weird like body horror type shit that happens in this film too. Which I was even fucking expecting to be honest with you. Like there's one thing that happens near like the end of the film which I was like what the fuck is going on and shit. And like but we pretty much lead to believe that this is all happening in his mind type of deal. So I'm like, okay, I get what they're doing now. So really cool film. There is some intense and disturbing moments to this. Like there's one scene in particular that was like where I just had to look away from the screen because it's just fucking weird and brutal at the same time because it involves a nail and a hammer. That's pretty much all I'm going to fucking give away about something if you're interested in this type of shit and you do want to see this film. But yeah, it's a very artistic film for what it is. Uh, the acting is good because I don't actually know any of the actors in this film because it is a German film. So it has like, it is in German and shit. So it has a lot of like interesting uh, technical aspect with the main character, Luther Scram. Uh, his performance is actually really mesmerizing to watch on film because uh, for the most of the time he's actually a very silent character because he doesn't really talk but he uses it through his emotions and his facial expressions type of deal. And yeah, if I did actually kind of dug this man. It's not like overly like what I was expecting but it was enjoyable at the same time. I won't lie, it was kind of like an artsy, like, mindfuck type film, and usually what Jörg Bergerite films are, but in my opinion, this is probably a little better than maybe a few of his other films that I've seen, the way it's presented and the way the imagery and the storyline, even though it is more of a style over substance style, but it still works out because you are following into this guy's mindset, and that's what he wanted to do, and he does a perfect job at that. So, if I had to rate uh, Shram in the mind of a serial killer, I would probably give it a solid 8.5. It's nothing too mind-blowing with its uh, length and stuff, but it has a lot of good imagery and acting and fucked up shit that really kept me interested and I wanted to see what more of this fucking film would have brought. 
of course with the runtime it kind of hurt the film in my opinion maybe like an extra like 10 15 minutes would have made it a little more uh captivating for me because even though this film does have a slow pace it does kind of lose itself in its style of a substance moment but still a fucking enjoyable film i have to say so if you're into like Jurg Berger right shit, I def recommend this. 8.5. Awesomeness. Alright guys, that's it for day 19. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'll be back tomorrow again as usual guys. So I'll see you then guys. Peace out.